get me through the night You and I must be together as shadows do collide Whispers and tongues, your dressing gown awaits for your return Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is 18 to the 19. We are just doing some cleansing before we start your reading. Okay. It's just like a thing, you know, it's the full moon and coming. You know, I just want to vibe with the energy and just chill, you know. Um, it's also available on my website, just letting you know. But if you need one and you need it right away, go to your corner store. It would be more ideal for you to have some sort of um, cleansing of energy, you know, so we vibe with the new things that is going to happen, you know, as far as the, um, how to say this, as we go to another cycle, another stage of, uh, of moon, okay, same time a lot of planets are going to be moving March, March is a very, very hectic day, okay, so let's, oh, and if you haven't watched the full moon, um, watch the full moon edition right here, okay, for each of the zodiac. But let's begin with your read for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's begin. Okay, here we go. Let's begin for my Virgos. Here we go, Virgos. Got the Queen of Wands. A lot of. Uh, I feel like you're rushing. You know, this energy looks like they're rushing. Um, they're busy. It's like I'm late. Okay, you know, so attending a party, attending a gala, a wedding, invitation over here. It can be a party. It can be just a simple dinner. Um, I don't know why you're late. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. It's like why are you late? Um, it can be someone that you're meeting and then they're late. Um, I hope it's not your period that you're waiting and you're late. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, though. <laughs> so, let's see. I won't be using the girl deck. Um, just for um, cause I'm. I want to spend time cleansing um, the energies here. Uh -huh. Read a world card. Okay, so like what I mentioned, um, new cycle, you know, new beginning can be that you're facing. This is also travel as a world card. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this energy is also um, coming into terms. It's almost like you probably um, have understand, okay, that we have so much things going on because it's busy. The world card is busy because of karma okay. and you guys are addressing it here it's really good though I feel like both of you are coming to terms next to the queen of wands or the knight of wands can be a younger person see coming together it's a meet up over here it can be younger fire sign also sag far from you um, I feel like this person, I mean, you guys carry the same, um, the same staff, of course, as a one, but I feel like, you know, it's, it's two people rushing to meet, um, two people meeting each other, eye to eye, it can be a person also, because this person is still not revealed, it can be like, you know, you're dating someone, or you swipe, you swipe left, and you haven't met this person, this is the first initial meeting, okay, if not, it's about revelation after that one, someone's gonna reveal their true colors after that, after you guys met. And Knight of Pentacles, so confidence, that's good. Okay. Being confident with the connection. Single. The person you're connecting with is um, you know, like they, they run their own shift. Um, meaning it's like, you know, it's a, an adult, a matured person. Um, they don't depend on nobody, they don't depend on their mom, their parents, you know, siblings. Um, they, they stand on their own here, I feel. There's also an entrepreneur, Nine of Pentacles with the world card. That's an entrepreneur, I feel. Let me see the other person. A two of Swords is Capricorn for me. This is Shravana. Okay. This is where the recent eclipse has happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel here that there's a lot of listening that will have to be... Um, how to say this, uh, uh, like a lot of communication here, and but uh, there's no conclusion yet. Back and forth, you guys meet each other every time, go out on a date, no conclusion. Both of you still has this a lot of questions going on. It's just like, okay, 
these are my questions, these are my thoughts, and you guys keep going at each other, meaning it's like, okay, we'll talk, and then a lot of thinking, we'll talk, a lot of thinking, but not to the point of shutdown, like nobody's responding, it's an even flow of communication, but requires still more, more time to understand, you know, each other's perspective in life, or how relationship is, um, because this is how the problem was before, is that you guys, probably both of you are talking, nobody's listening, so that's the argument right there, the Five of Swords. I mean, how will you guys be together when both, you know, are here, meaning blah, 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 you know, the Five of Swords, and nobody listening or understanding each point. I feel like these are each points that you have enumerated to this person also, if you're the confident one. You already told them, it's like, these are my ideas. This is how I think of a relationship, what it is, what it's not. And um, this is uh, Saturn over here. So you can be the person who's more experienced than this person. And that experience shows arrogance, though. Like, it's like you know, this is like, I told you so, you know, that kind of energy. So that this person, then you guys have a fight. I know, so you're, cause you can be proving yourself to this person. It's like, I'm confident and, you know, it's like, I know who I am. You don't have to tell me this. You don't have to tell me that, you know, because this person can be, um, like even asking you or you're asking them, it's like, chill, you know, it's like, don't, you know, nobody's attacking you and stuff like that. And then there comes the argument. That's why it requires for you guys to listen to each other, more fluid communication. Okay. So I feel this is also about a conversation because the Knight of Wands is there. If someone is cheating, lying. Because this is also unresponsive. When, when you guys have a fight, they stop replying towards you. And the Two of Swords plus the Five, of course, denotes it's like it can lead to some sort of um, betrayal. So the fight is about, you know, it's like you betrayed me. You never told me this, you know. Because the Knight of Wands likes to step out at night. They do like to explore, okay. But it doesn't mean that they're going to sleep around. But of course, this is a person who likes their freedom. And it's like, I don't need to tell you where I'm at or, you know, this and that. And that's why you're learning. Because at night, they don't even text you. They don't. You don't know what's going on. Two of Swords are the Knight of Wands. Hence the fight again. Hence the whole, I'm independent. I don't need you. You know? And this is what you show to this person. Okay, Virgos? So I'm going to continue this reading. You can be connecting with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Let's see how the battle between the two of you, okay, um, started and how it's going to end. Thank you very much, Virgos. I'll link down there for the extended read and also for the bundles. Bye, guys.